Hey there guys, this is Obsidian Chill, kind of the video for today, and we're going to be looking at the results from the DC Universes Online Extra Life Charity Stream, uh, which is a benefit they do to their local Austin Ch Children's Miracle Network, uh, but it, Extra Life as a whole is basically charity towards, uh, all going towards kids in the Children's Miracle Network Hospital, their entire network. It's just that DC uh, picked their local Austin ones, because that's where their office is based out of. So, uh, as you'll see, the rewards appear on the screen. Some of it's for the last year's event. Um, I will link the video that I covered last year in the description in the comment section because I don't want to touch on the previous year's rewards because it's already been done and would just add unnecessary time. And it's kind of a follow-up to my previous video because, yes, the the uh, success first Doomsday and the Avatar of, of Tech uh, that was a part of the charity donation that I made, so that massively disliked video is... Uh, from charity so <laughs> hopefully that makes you guys feel better so let's uh, touch on the rewards here okay so now that you know a little bit about the rewards uh, let's touch and actually show them what they look like so the donation tiers were based on what reward we got so the pastel chroma if you donated uh, or ocean surpassed her donation goal of 2000 we got the pastel chroma if they passed a if DC as a whole passed a donation goal of 10,000 they we got the greeting cards postcard pack so these are the postcards the developers were sending out for $25 donations to players. They would uh, hand write a, a little message and mail them out to you. Now, if DC got to their 14,000 uh, milestone, we got the caregivers, caregivers Neon Chroma. And then the 16,000 milestone, no, not sorry, 15,000 milestone was the Space Base Hideout. And now the 16,000 was the uh, Medusa's X Machina Wings. So I'll go through and show each one's here. I just wanted to break down what the actual nation goals was. Uh, DC ended up with uh, just over 20,000, 20,210 uh, US donation as of the recording of this video. Uh, so that means there is a 20,000 donation tier, but we don't know what it is yet. They mentioned it on stream that the developers would dye their hair like extra light blue, which is like a, um, as you can see by the title, it's kind of like a blue neon, like a lightish blue neon color. So we're not sure if the developers like uh, things like Red 5, Carp, uh, Meps, Oceans, Maxilla, uh, I think a few others as well. But uh, if they're going to dye their hair blue, then then I guess that's worth 20000 Yeah, But I'm not sure if we're actually going to get something in-game related to that or if that was just like their personal donation um, milestone. So, and, and as I said before, I'm not going to show the rewards from last year. So we did get all the rewards again. If you missed them last year, I will link the video in my description where I talk about that. There's no sense to make this video an extra like 15 minutes longer and showing you all those because I already covered it in a video. Uh, and there's no point to rehash it. So I will link that in the description and the comment section so you can check out what the rewards look like from the previous year because we got those as well. So we got the Pastel Chroma. And let's take the 20 seconds to open up my style menu. Okay. So Pastel Chroma. And we'll ditch the aura just so you can see it better. Uh, it's probably easier showing the chest. So there's the one. There's what two looks like. And three. And we can go down to the legs. It'll be the next one. That's one, two, and three. So kind of different shades of the, the pink, basically. Pink to blue to pink it again. But that's about what you expect out of a pastel neochroma. So the next one is going to the greeting cards postcard pack. I won't show that once we get into the space base. So we'll show the caregiver's neon chroma right now. And same thing, we'll ditch the aura. Oh, I already did that. And caregivers. So we got the caregivers chroma that was last year. Now we got the neon chroma. So we got the nun there. More of like a bronze glow to it. And 
And it probably has a it probably has determined what the color I pick here on the wheel. So I'm, ooh, I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty dull on my colors. Let's see if I can. There we go. There's an extra life blue. I'm not the most style oriented player as you can see pretty much every single video is the exact same style and they just wear a different uh, material so I'm sure that there's uh, people out there and, pe and players out there that have a much better opportunity to uh, get some nice designs with these pastel chromas rather than myself so we'll get to the space base now this one I'm going to retire this base this used to be my, the base I used for a long time then I switched over to my uh, the volcano layer base so this one has uh, seen the end of its days. Uh, so let's relocate. And we're looking for space. Okay, now we're looking at the space theme. Basically just a look outside of the watchtower. And these are basically what the amenities look like that stayed, R&D, bank, not sure how the, uh, the dartboard game made it, vendor, R&D station. So now we can look at the postcards, and my lights made it too. Okay, so now the postcards. So basically these are just uh, images of what the actual postcard that players would have got with that $25 donation in the mail. So we got Gotham, Metropolis, the Mascara, Atlantis, Xamron, Kondak, and Central City. And then essentially each one of these postcards is also a large one which won't fit in this layer. It would fit in the large room of the, the like the Brainiac and the Atlantis layers or in your league hall. That's essentially what those postcards will look like. And then touching on our last one, the wings. These are the wings here. I'm not a flight character, so it's going to be a little bit awkward with the uh, side to side wave in there. It's much more designed for a flight character. Actually, what I can do is. Did I delete my bank? I did. And there's what the wings look like properly if you're actually flying. And this is actually with one of the chroma wings. So we can go back and touch on the style there. Or at least put it to none so you can see. So that's just with the blue color there. And that's your $16,000 style. So, once again, like I did last year, I will put the links in the donation, or sorry, links in the description in the comment section for the Extra Life page for DC. It's always a fun event each year. The 
the one thing I did find this year is that the we didn't really know much of a heads up about the incentives. So like I said before, all the dislikes on my previous video were due to me donating ten dollars. <laughs> so it's like Obsidian Chill gets special treatment from the developers. No, I donated ten dollars, <laughs> and anyone else could have donated ten dollars as well and got the same treatment. So, but I feel like. A lot of the stuff was you had to keep checking every single day to see what the incentives were. So I feel like that's was something they could do a lot better next year if they want to increase their donation totals. Um, because I think this year I got uh, a, a portrait from Oceans. I, last year I had one from Exilla. This year I got Oceans. I still don't have it yet, but uh, who knows? I also got a neat little poster that developers are going to sign for me for a hundred dollar donation, and these are all tax deductible as well. You get tax donation receipts from Extra Life. I'm not sure how that applies to me in Canada, but I'm still going to try to submit it on my taxes and see if it counts as a uh, donations, uh, even though it was in American funds, an American organization. But I mean, that's that's here, no there. But yeah, I, I really feel like. They, they could have done a much better job promoting the incentives because it's not like you need an incentive to donate but it, it's also nice to have something of value for your donation so sure you could donate just a hundred dollars and just it's here have a hundred dollars but if you could have like a keepsake or something like a like the sign poster um for twenty dollars i got to change my form name to community trusted which is kind of like my new slogan uh like you see in my in my subscriber videos so it's it's just I feel like they could have done a much better job doing that rather than just promoting like the postcards because I, I think they would have had much more donations if they would have publicized it a bit more or if they chose to work with uh, members of the community so I, I know myself there's, I mean there's plenty of YouTubers with a huge subscriber audience they could have kind of partnered with us and said hey this is what we're doing this is the incentives do you want to do a video on it but I mean it just depends on how much they want to push this I guess in terms of extra life. I mean, the last year they did one stream, which was on the one day, and then uh, this one they did streams for what well, they started in October, so it was a month, month and a bit. Every single Friday they did a stream, so that was certainly more than they did last year. But uh, hey, we'll see how it goes next year. You'll see me there. So take care, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.